Oh, I guess I'm starting right now. Um, hello guys and welcome back. Where we last left off, we had to kind of pull out of all of Alaska Co's lost cause. Now we're going to focus on Nova Scotia. So, we've got a rebellions in the Americas. Both Central and South America, revolutions have taken arms and risen in rebellion in the name of democracy. Uh, they are generally, generally well-equipped and well-organized. And if they had been champion of our ideology, their funding would have been easily traced. E easy to trace. Whoever is supplying these movements have made a concerted effort to hide their involvement. However, uh, of course there, are, there is only one great power with the stated foreign policy mission to promote democracy in the Americas. American-sponsored coups and once-in-a-lifetime events! Of course. Right, what is going on? Uh, an American-sponsored coup. No! No! Oh wait, it doesn't matter. Ha ha! It doesn't matter because they're already at war with you and they can't leave the war. So take that, they're like Ireland for you. Doesn't matter if they're democratic, America. Really doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, Colombia is... Oh God, a few of them have turned. They turned from the fascist roots, which might make them... I mean, apparently Argentina's still fascist, but not on our side. But, yeah, uh, just gonna have to wait that out, I suppose. Damn it, America, you've just... It's 1958! It's a bit late for any, any like, upper major events to pop up. I didn't expect anything else. Right, well, we'll continue, shall we? Uh, so, where we last left off, my troops are just coming up the Red Sea, about to head over here. By the way, we have, a, like, a ton of subs. We have over 100 subs. We might have enough to secure a passage to Nova Scotia, possibly elsewhere in America. Uh, I'm still making them. I, I could invade... If I get through Nova Scotia, I could get to these coasts. It's, it's far better infrastructure than anything in the West for now. Also, I have been destroying U.S. subs. So, yeah, uh, good. Insufficient supplies. What am I? Steel? British Empire's falling behind. Damn, yeah, British Empire. So I need uh, some more from, like, Japan. Japan's always good. Is Japan sorted out? Anything else? No. No, I'm fine. Yeah, that's dealt with. Got resistance to occupation in Ireland. Not really too bothered about Ireland. They can rebel if they like. I can't really afford to send anyone to them. So be grumpy. Right. Anything else? Always telling me to modify my government. I mean, I could do this. You're not fine. There. Happy. Happy. I finally did it. We don't have anything to do with that. How many do we predict that they have? Chile has apparently 11 to 18 divisions. We have nearly 2,000 German soldiers. 2,000! I imagine America doesn't have 307, uh, 301 to... I imagine it's a lot more than that. I think we're underestimating the max. I think they got like 1,000 at the very least. If Germany's got... Nearly 2,000. America at this point has got to have at least 1,000. So, we just have to wait. God's sake, I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to show you anything else, pretty much. I'm going to wait for Canada's revolution and revolt. If that fails, I'm going to have to try some underhanded tactics. Like, maybe not even that. Maybe I just have to do a massive brute force invasion of America. Like a full on landing. Hoping that everyone else will jump in. If I was Germany, I would have won this war several decades ago. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not Germany. I'm Bulgaria. <laughs> this is what I got to work with. So, I will see you when the rebellion happens. See you then. Alright guys, just keeping you updated here. It looks like the Americans are taking down the free Americans. Like, they've stormed through because they have a lot of supplies and we don't. And they've killed them. Just like every other time. And we're invading the American continent. We, we don't have any supplies at all. So, they, they've won there. They, they're they not likely to take it back. I think the only thing this rebellion has done is taken away some of their better generals, and that's it. 
Other than that, no, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it's good distraction. Other than that, no, didn't accomplish much of anything, did it? Like, at all. They're about to take the only port. And then that's it, so that'll be the end of them. Uh, I've moved all my fighters away, just in case. See, if they just move down here. Move down here and cut them off! It could be a good counter-attack. But they won't. Especially now that they're sending in all these people. So, yeah, that's uh, that's not going to happen. Oh, I'm also kamikaze in the remaining Irish fleet. So that's gone. Uh, I can also, at some point, send this giant submarine fleet to... Uh, what I'm planning to do is launch a naval invasion. I mean, hopefully I'm just going to land in Nova Scotia, but I'm also going to have these strewn around here. So I can have a naval invasion ready just in case. Like... I'll have a, the main force is just going to land, but the secondary army here, who lost a few men, are just going to do a normal naval invasion in, like, the United Kingdom's area here. And then they're going to come across, and they're going to kill everyone. Hopefully. I might have to invade, like, here, Quebec, for the, uh, the port. We'll see. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's it, so I'll see you for the next update. Aha! I knew it! Alaska's such a barren wasteland that even the American troops are taking attrition! Uh, the, the United States troops are taking attrition! Everyone's taking attrition! Yes! They can't hold it! It's too... painful to hold! I knew it! They can't know- well, I didn't actually know anything, but I can say I knew it because I knew it was terrible for us, so I kind of assumed it would be terrible for them. Wow, this Japanese unit has nothing. This Japanese German troop has nothing. There's no one in there. Average strength one. There are four guys. It says four divisions, but I'm just gonna assume there's four guys le uh, left there. All right, they're being they're being driven out. This is Eisenhower. Yep. They really did take like all the best generals, didn't they? <laughs> That's all they had. Hopefully this is just going to be a drain on America's resources. Nobody's going to be able to do anything because they're all dying of attrition in Alaska. And they'll never win. Hopefully. I hope they never do actually win down there. Uh, in the meantime, we are preparing to launch our invasion still. Uh, only a few months away. I've got subs patrolling the English and... So this area over here. The English Channel in this area here. I forget what it's called. And I'm hoping that that'll be enough. So, yeah, it's enough. Because before it was saying that we had 0% naval supremacy. So we only seize. And when I put the subs here, here, and here, we'll hope we'll be able to travel across in naval invasions. And we should be able to just transport anyway. But I'm hoping that maybe the subs won't just get them killed and they'll protect the, uh, the convoys. We shall see. It'll happen in a few months. I know I keep saying I'll come back with a Canadian fin, but I have no idea when, when I'll come back. When something happens. See you then. Okay, still not back with Canada, but we are back with this. Fascist Bolivia has declared war upon the democratic Bolivia. Civil war! It has happened. Was we doing that? No, we was not doing that. That just happened. So... Is this gonna be a proxy war? This might be a proxy war. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully the fascists will win and they'll join us and help us. Why is there American, like, convoys coming all the way down here? I mean, we're kamikaze them pretty hard, but... They're still coming! What, what's going on? Yeah, seriously, are we gonna invite these people? Like, come on. Fascists, we love them, don't we? Even though, like... Why is that only... How much of a percentage of the population is that? It's... Not that much. It's barely anything. Not that many people live in this part of Bolivia, it seems. Yeah, it's still uh, more of the country than that. Oh. Well. Uh, nothing's happening on that front. I guess they're just gonna fight it out. It's not none of our business, I suppose. So. Oh, by the way, yep, uh, this is still happening. A few American troops. They seem to have solved the attrition on some units. Other units are still taking quite heavy attrition. Unlike uh, our forces, which are taking just complete attrition all the time. They, so yeah, uh, soon the Free American Empire's uh, reserves will just run out and they'll die. 
But hopefully we'll be in Canada by then. So, then all these dockyards have been sabotaged. You know what? Fine. Fine. I give in. I could use the stuff, so. Train police. In London. Uh, hold on. In London. The best place to train police. Oh, wait, I can't. Because it's not on the mainland. I had to train them on the mainland. So, train them in Sofia. If I remember how. How do I train again? There we go, selected. We'll have uh, three units for... Yeah, we'll have three units for... Brit no, four units for Britain, two for Ireland. So get those going. And we'll go. Yeah, oh, well, it's not that it's on the mainland. It's just it's not incorporated, which is why no one's actually going to join. And I will see you, hopefully this time for real... In the Canadian invasion, God knows what will happen next, so I have no guarantees on what's going to happen. Maybe some other sort of fascist or even communist, God forbid, uh, uprising happens. So, see you then. Okay, we're there, finally. It's literally midnight of the previous day before it happens. So, let's begin this new bright ray of hope in the invasion of America. There we go, we've uh, successfully done it, right, fires of revolution now burn. Oh my god, this, it's actually got the maple leaf on it. And yeah, right, we'll see how well this one fares. Come on, we can do it. Fascist Canada, I always knew you had it in you. Okay. You guys can just go straight there. Can you? Okay, execute, 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 execute. Go. Go, 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 go. We're going. I don't care. You need to join the Axis first, which is why that didn't work. But fine. We're going. We're off. There we go, they're in. So they got one. One infantry. God damn it. I expected more. Alright, well that's one. They only need one to sort of hold off the bottleneck. They've joined as an official ally, they've joined the war. Cool. For the love of God, help us. Uh, by the way, we've got like a hundred and twenty-something subs patrolling the waters in between. I'm hoping that's enough. As we launch literally every, like, combat division we have against them. Except you. Why, why are you not going? Eastern Seaboard? Why do you want to go? They're not doing the Eastern Seaboard? What, what's going on? What am I missing here? Hold on, which ones are the seas? Uh, let's see here. There? Oh! What? You can't go because of that. Which one did I assign you to? Where are you going? So you're going from there. None of them t I mean, that one does. I suppose, but that's about it. I f didn't I assign you to go here? Why does that include the Eastern Seaboard? Apparently it does, because it goes near... Uh, in there, that's the Eastern Seaboard, but I asked you to go through here, so why does that matter? Ah, fine, right. Bulgarian Four Fleet! Change your plan! You do not occupy that part, y you go there as well. Happy! You're not even going to the Eastern Seaboard! Whatever, right, so <laughs> we're all going in a massive charge. Hopefully they don't spot the massive invasion going. Uh, there's also a German thing going on. Ah, uh, yes, the Canadians have lined up, they're ready. Now hold fast and don't get killed. Please, you're the last hope I have of doing it semi-decently without, like, a massive uh, pain in the ass naval invasion across the eastern seaboard. So, there, the Americans are stopping Portuguese. Even the Portuguese are sending their own troops. Everyone's, like, pouring troops in. 
Hopefully it doesn't overwhelm them like last time. That's why I'm going like across the board. Instead of just focusing in the uh, part that I wanted. So we'll see. Uh, there's, uh, there's American tanks here! What are the American tanks doing there? Uh, that might present a major problem. If the troops are actually going to be there. Who am I sending there? I think I'm actually sending our troops there. Yeah. Depends how many there are, I suppose. I've got faith! I got faith! We gotta try! Alright, they're engaging. How many? There's two... There's one anti-tank. Well, one heavy tank. And there's a mountaineer division. They don't have much defense, so if we can get... If we can just get there. Why is there only one attack? And why is this one guy ahead of everyone else? Or is everyone else invading from the side? Everyone else is invading from the side, right. We should be able to take him out if we're quick. So, first invasion of Newfoundland. Go! Quick! Immediately! Attack! We should be able to wipe these Americans off and take the island. What's this? How long has this been here? Well, it says two divisions. And you want to send us 16 divisions, right. I'll, I'll take him. Uh, new general. Uh, you. Hold off. We'll hold off for now. I think we got enough troops going there for now. Where are these other two Bulgarian troops then? Oh, there's one of them. I don't even know where you are. Uh, join up here, I suppose. If I just... If I just do this, will I find them? Yeah, okay. Uh, there you go. You're all assigned. Let's get going, shall we? Let's... Let's get in there. Right. At first, an American... Like, a victory against America. Against, uh, like, a terrible... Terrible commander. But he has our superiority, so he has no excuse. We've overwhelmed them! They can't take every one of us out! Too many are slipping through the net. And we actually did it! We beat the Americans! We took down heavy tanks! You can now take this island fully. And from there we can like... This can be a staging post. Hopefully. His troops pour into Halifax! Yes, Portuguese troops! You provided the best screen ever to just make sure they don't find and kill us. Good old Portuguese cannon fodder. Oh, this is amazing. Anyway, that is the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching. I've gone way over time. And I'll see you next time when the full invasion begins. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Later, guys.